Good evening, everyone. I'm Jasmine Awadi, one of the member in uh, CAS. Uh, CAS Visual Art Foundation been, uh, been here from 2018. We are in Al-Fahedi heritage area. We are under umbrella of the Dubai Culture Authority. Today is very important and unique gathering. We are going to look forward for more art, more things that can happen into um, a CAS. Uh, having said that, um, I, I'm very pleased to have you guys all here. Uh, I do see uh, uh, lots of different um, uh, background, different school of thought, which is very important uh, in Akas uh, to gather all these under one roof. I'm pleased to introduce Mr. Graish from uh, Arabian uh, Gallery. I am very honored to be here, uh, Jasim. Thank you for hosting us. We begin this journey uh, of Arabian Gallery at Motivate Media Group when the company really began with publishing magazines and then journey started off you know collating content uh, taking pictures we always had wonderful photographers with us and we had a vision of creating an archive over time uh, back in 2015 when I joined hands with Getty Images now I have got a collection of about 30,000 odd assets on Getty Images uh, and with that came uh, my keen interest to come up with something which the world could see. So back in 2020, you know, when all of those bad things happened, pandemic happened and we had a lot of time in hand, Artha and I sat down and said, what can we do? You know, what do we do? How do we make ourselves more productive? And we gave, literally, we conceived this beautiful uh, art platform just for photography, right? And we launched with few images, with few photographers. And then the conversation grew and we said, why not paintings? Why not sculptures? And then came these clocks, 2,000 pieces of art on the ArabianGallery.com e-commerce platform. We have about oddly 26, 27 different mixed nationalities and we have been selling art around the world. Having said that, you know, e-commerce is, is one thing and when it comes to art, you really want to touch and feel and look at it sometimes, you know, you need to see the aesthetics. So, Jasim and I have been talking for some time now, and I said, how do we do it? You know, Jasim from Akas has got a uh, few wonderful artists who are not with us because I have not known them. I have got these artists, uh, Jasim's gallery has not seen it. So I've been looking for a gallery where I could confidently go and showcase and do activations. And today is the day when I'm announcing uh, the collaboration of Akas uh, Visual Art and Arabian Gallery. We are joining hands today, officially. Uh, so, all of these artists who are with Akas are with us now, officially starting today on our gallery. We intend to do at least one activation a month, very ambitiously, selecting few key artists, and this is going to be our second home for Arabian Gallery. And thank you for having us. Thank you for trusting us. And thank you for your collaboration. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very humbled at the same time when I have uh, Director of Historic Times, uh, David Galbraith flying in. He's a curator of these clocks. Let me talk a little bit about clocks and then I'm going to hand it over to David to talk about it. Uh, these are beautiful handmade clocks made in England. Every single piece which you see, which is in here, is a 300 year old technology which he will talk more about it. Uh, it took us time for us to stage it in UAE market. These are made of precious metal gold and we have collaborated with Rivoli. Now Rivoli DIFC proudly showcases these clocks and as of day before yesterday we have had access to their Abu Dhabi showroom in Marina Mall. So these clocks are there as well. Uh, these clocks are under the sculpture uh, section of our Arabian gallery available to buy online but at the same time also you could go and have a look at those clocks uh, in uh, Rivoli showroom. Uh, Without further ado, uh, I would like uh, David to speak a few words about his life legacy and uh, at the same time he will talk a little bit about uh, these clocks. I'm honoured to be here as well, very kind invitation of uh, Jessin. Um, and uh, I've spoken to quite a few of you actually and you'll probably be bored to hear my life story again but I'm actually 
I was in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia particularly, in 1976, would you believe, so I'm quite ancient. And um, in 1977, I came to Dubai, which was wonderful, although it was a very dusty little town then. I hadn't been here since until five years ago, but at the very kind invitation of um, a very dear friend of mine, Ian Fairservice, who is a founder partner of Motivate, um, and he was a childhood friend of mine. At 10 years of age, we were friends, and he's remained a friend ever since. And it's really through Ian's help that I've been able to a, start producing work. I'm actually, I'm a late comer to the art scene because I've spent my life as a art director, graphic designer, illustrator, but mainly in the commercial sector, marketing, advertising, that sort of thing. And so I'm a new artist um, of five years, really. But I could always draw and paint when I was a tiny child, so from then on, but I never actually employed it and I should have done and it's such a shame that I didn't but now's my time and I have a wonderful opportunity through um, the kindness of various people and um, motivate and just in to actually showcase some of my work. The uh, Falcons, uh, I produced these four paintings and I was aiming to put them onto clocks as panels in a similar fashion to this little tiny clock here, but the actual clocks these falcons are on are much bigger. I needed some other images, so I produced this other image of the Jahili Fort in Abu Dhabi, and it really moved me to think I could make the building the sort of protectorate of the United Arab Emirates, and that that is the security and the, the actual image goes right the way around the clock. So it shows the safety and security of the UAE, which is wonderful. And also I wanted to show the equality of the seven states of the UAE. So I drew all the buildings that I could find. So I took about two or three buildings from each of the seven emirates and put them in the background. So it shows equality, throughout the United Arab Emirates. And also there's, that particular copy is about the 50th anniversary. It was really to celebrate the 50th anniversary. Um, I was inspired by a wonderful book I've got at home, which is um, The Arabian Nights. And it has this style of image in gold leaf on cream on the book. And that inspired me to do this. And when I talked to Ian, my dear friend at Motivate, about what I should be doing, I thought, a sudden inspiration. I'd only bought that book about three weeks before. And it inspired me to use a similar style. And, the, and I found the Jahidi Fort. I thought it was wonderful. And I love the old, old buildings of the UAE. Um, so that's how I did it. I'm, I'm going to be doing more different pictures. We've, I've been talking to various people and possibly collaborating with some really interesting photographers. And, and um, I want to produce some paintings of horses next, Arabian horses and various other images. So it's a wonderful opportunity for me. And I'd like to thank Jasim for this honor and of course Motivate and Girish here who's been so helpful during this visit. It was wonderful to be here. And thank you all very much for listening to me. I hope I haven't bored anyone because I've done it twice now for some of you. But um, anyway, it's thank you very much. Well, wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you.